Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today we are making shallow fried mackerel. Mackerel is one of my favorite fish to eat, um, aside from salmon. I really like salmon sometimes, but uh, yeah, mackerel, mackerel can get it any day. So let's get started. So we're gonna get started. I have this beautiful, I have two beautiful fillets of mackerel. I'm gonna go ahead and add it into a bowl of water, ice cold water with a couple tablespoons of vinegar to clean that fish up. And I'm just gonna let that soak um, as I'm getting the other ingredients ready. I love mackerel so much because it's such a meaty fish. It's also like slight, like oily, which pairs great with rice. And it's inexpensive. I got two fillets for almost six dollars, and I was able to eat on that with my husband for four days, three to four days. So it's it's like a great inexpensive protein, in my opinion. All right, so I'm gonna go in with an inch and a half of ginger. I'm gonna add that to my mortar, and I have tea. Uh, I'm gonna add one teaspoon of coarse sea salt. And you want coarse sea salt because that abrasion, that abrasion between the mortar and the salt is going to really turn that ginger and we're going to add garlic into a beautiful paste to go on our fish. So I'm going to grind and mash that up really well. And once it gets to a consistency like this, um, where it's not completely a paste, but it's broken down pretty nicely, I'm going to go ahead and add my garlic. And I have um, five cloves of garlic and my garlic looks crazy because I, I leave it in the freezer so that it doesn't go bad and when you defrost it it always gets like this funky look to it but it still tastes the same it's still a uh, very potent potent and um, it doesn't affect the taste at all it just looks kind of weird but you're gonna go ahead and grind all of them up together and make um, as fine of a paste as you can now it's not gonna get super fine like you put it in a blender you're gonna have some chunks but that's completely okay that's what we want um, you want to get it as smooth as you can now once you are finished with your paste we're gonna go ahead and drain our mackerel as you can see that um, the vinegar kind of cooked the mackerel meat a little bit but that's okay and we're gonna go ahead and evenly distribute our ginger and garlic paste and we're just gonna rub it on the inside of our fish. Make sure that it comes in contact with all the meat. And you might be thinking like, is this enough? Yes, ginger and garlic are so, like their flavors are so strong. You don't need a whole, whole lot of this. A little really goes a long way. As long as the, the paste gets in contact with the meat, trust me, it's gonna get seasoned. Now go ahead and add some salt. I'm just sprinkling the front and the back of the mackerel. I don't eat the skin, but I put salt on the skin so that it kind of crisps up while we cook it. All right, so now I have my pot and my canola oil. I'm only gonna put enough canola oil to coat the bottom of the pan. We're not doing a deep fry, we're doing a shallow fry. And in order to do that, you literally just want to make sure none of the bottom of the pan is not covered in oil, if that makes sense. All right, so once your oil is nice and hot, you're gonna add your mackerel skin side down first. And we really want a nice browned color on that skin. Um, and we're gonna cook it for about seven to 10 minutes on each side. Definitely, it all depends on your heat level. I'm cooking mine over a medium heat, a medium high heat, and it took about seven minutes for me. Um, but I'm also using a heavy bottomed pan. So it all depends on your pan uh, and how your pan cooks the cooks the food, how the heat is dispersed. So seven to 10 minutes is safe. Don't worry about your fish getting overcooked and dried out because mackerel is an oily fish. So all that extra oil will protect the meat of the fish. So once your fish is nice and golden brown on both sides, you're gonna go ahead and take that fish out. Be very careful not to break apart the meat and set it to the side and go on and fry that other uh, filet or how many other filets you have 
Um, I love this recipe because it pairs so nicely with uh, just plain white rice, or you could do brown rice. Um, just the oil and the mackerel absorbs in that rice, and it just adds a beautiful, just buttery flavor. Um, so this is what my mackerel looks like. Now that it is done, it's browned beautifully. I'm adding some cilantro to the top because cilantro actually goes nicely with the ginger and the garlic and the seasoning. And surprisingly, that ginger and garlic really shines through in this dish. It's so simple, it's so easy. As you can see, it was quick to make, perfect for weeknights. So if you decide to try this recipe, let me know. Have any questions or comments, leave it in the comment box below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And make sure you like this video. When you like the video, it lets me know that you guys are engaged and you want more from me. So yes, thanks for stopping by and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.